Hey guys, so I'm here today to film a haul for you. Um, I placed an order from Sephora with my Christmas gift cards and I also placed an order from Tarte, so I thought that I would haul it. So I got the Sephora order first, so let's start with that. Um, the reason I ordered the Sephora order was because I decided I needed the Modern Renaissance palette. It's so pretty. So at first I was like, nah, I don't really need it. Everyone's ha talking about it, but like I don't buy into the hype. Like I literally have so many eyeshadow palettes that I don't need a fuck another one. Like let's be real. But then all my friends started getting it and telling me I needed it. And then so I went into, I was like, okay, I'll go to Sephora because I couldn't decide if I wanted that or the Sweet Peach palette. But when I swatched the Sweet Peach palette, I realized it's really not for me. Like it has too many warm tones that I'm not, like, not even warm tones, but like gold undertone -y kind of colors I'm never gonna wear. And then I saw, I knew that they had the Modern Renaissance palette in stock earlier in the week, but they were like, oh, we're sold out, but they did have one to swatch. And as soon as I swatched it, I was like, yeah, I need this. The colors are so beautiful. It is definitely a more warm toned palette, but I am wearing Warm Taupe and Cypress Umber in my crease today with ColourPop's I Heart This on my lid. Um, Cypress Umber is super pigmented, so I had to really blend it out because like, watch. I barely touched that and it's so fucking dark like just magical the colors are beautiful this color vermeer is like such a beautiful frosty pink color right up my fucking alley yesterday i wore vermeer with antique bronze in the crease this is antique bronze just blended out really well it was so gorgeous the colors are just beautiful there are a few colors that i'm not sure if i'll ever wear like golden ochre which is a little too yellow for me and like this bright pink love letter but like part of me is like maybe I should use this bright pink like look at it look at that it's so beautiful it's just an amazing palette the shadows blend so beautifully <laughs> why couldn't I say that like just I can't describe how well these shadows blend like it's magical like I'm just gonna swatch everything I just swatched on me just like look at this pink I didn't think I would ever use it, but like now I want to. I'm also probably getting eyeshadow all over this. Um, the palette is very reminiscent of the Naked One palette. It's like that suede kind of texture, which I actually don't hate. I kind of like the modern, the original Naked palette packaging. It is gonna get dirty as fuck, but I just love these colors. I can't, I can't tell you how beautiful they blend. Like they're just amazing quality shadows, and it's such a good deal. I think it was 55 Canadian. Is my thing in here? Doesn't tell me how much I paid. I believe it was 55 Canadian, which is not a bad deal for, for 14 shadows. Like that's a pretty decent deal. So yeah, I ordered that. I don't regret it. I'm so obsessed with this palette. I definitely think you need it. Everyone needs it. Everyone in the world needs it. And because I had a gift card, I needed to order some more things. I was really intrigued by the new Sephora cream lip stains. So I picked up two colors. I should have went into the store and swatched them, but like I'm lazy. And so I might actually exchange these colors. I got number 44, which is, let's see. 44 is Purple Sunset. I really wish they had the fucking names on these, like number one pet peeve of life. Um, So it's definitely right on my alley. It's like a grayy brown color with some purple undertones. I think this one I'll really like, but the color uh, 26, which is Auburn Sunset. Oh, pretty Auburn. I thought it was going to have more red undertones, but it feels a little bit more brown to me. So I'm going to have to play around with these, put them on my lips. I don't know how I feel about this color. Like, I think I might love it, but I also might hate it. I'm not sure, but they're super pigmented. Like I want, they just released, I believe 40 new shades of these. And I literally want them all. They have like this beautiful dark forest green kind of color that I'm like, I would totally wear that. I need to own that. So yeah. They're so pretty. When Urban Decay's 1993 first came out, I really wanted it and it was never in stock. So now that they came out with like the relaunch of their line and they expanded everything, they had 1993 in stock. It's a comfort matte formula and I love their comfort mattes. So I did buy this. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna be keeping this or not. Do you like this? This is a haul of things I might return. Um, this is <laughs> such an awkward swatch, but here's 1993. Um, personally, I'm more of like a grayy kind of brown person. Like this is a Bite Beauty's Thistle, which is like the perfect grayish for me. So I'm just not sure if I'm ever going to wear 1993. So I might return it. I don't know. It's a beautiful color. 
but I just don't do really like warm lips that often. I don't know. And then I did get two samples. Um, I redeemed 100 points for the Jar Dr. Jart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer because this is fucking ginormous for 100 points. I saw it in store and I was like, that's a huge 100 point perk. So I got it and I dropped it. Um, and then I also, um, there was a coupon code, like one of those beauty deal coupon codes for a free cover FX custom enhancer drops in the shade Moonlight. Now, personally, I want Celestial, which is like a more pink toned color because I just like more pink toned things. But this is, I just put like the smallest drop on my knuckles and this is what it looks like. But when you blend it out, you really, it doesn't look like, why did I swatch it over there? When you blend it out, here I blended it out on like my the side of my hand. Can you see it? When you blend it out, it doesn't look as warm toned. Like I'm wearing it on my cheeks today with Offers You Glow Girl on top and I just think it's so beautiful. I definitely do not think it needs to come in a size any bigger than this. I'm never gonna use this up. This is my problem with the cover, cover FX drops and why I haven't bought them yet because they're like $55 for a giant eyedropper container that I'm never gonna fucking finish. So I don't want to spend $55 on something that's going to be cool for a while and then it's going to get lost in my makeup drawer and I'm going to forget about it. Like, I wish that I could just buy them in this size. I would pay 20 bucks for this. Maybe 10, maybe 15. But still, I would pay for this little tiny baby size. So like now I'm on the lookout for a small size of the Celestial because I don't want to buy the big size. It just feels like a waste of money to me. So that's everything that I got from Sephora. It's not a huge haul, but it's a haul nonetheless. And then... On Boxing Day, Tarte had uh, free Canadian shipping, which they never have. Their shipping to Canada is fucking stupid. It's like $22 to $30. Like, goodbye. I'm not, paying I'm not paying $22 to ship a concealer to me that's like $30. Like, goodbye. Like, they had a 40% off code floating around last week for Too Faced had it. for, And that's why I was going to buy the Peach Palette for 40% off. I'm like, that's a steal. But then their shipping was like $30. And I was like, fuck you. Fuck you. I don't live that far. Also, when I got my Tarte package in the mail, I realized that they ship out of New Jersey. It's literally across the border. It's like right there. It's just right there. I'm right here. Fuck you. Anyways, I ordered two more of the Tarte Shape Tapes. Um, I currently have the shade Fair. I already have one open, so I'm just going to show you the shade Fair. This is what it looks like. I'm going to swatch it on my other hand because I'm running out of hand space. I am obsessed with this concealer. I just put it in my Best of Beauty video for 2016. It's amazing. This is what Fair looks like. It's a nice light tone with pink undertones, which is really hard for me to find in a concealer. So I bought a backup of light because you can't get this concealer here and I'm not sure when you'll be able to get it here. So I figured with free shipping and 20% off, I couldn't not buy it. And then I also picked up the shade Fair because I do wish I had bought this shade. It's very, when I swatched it in store, it's very light, which is why I didn't buy it. Like it's almost white and it's a little yellow toned, but I wanted it for highlighting and for mixing it with light. So this is fair. This is light as you can, no, this is fair. This is light. As you can see, fair is super fair, but I figure if I mix them together, they'll create a beautiful shade for me to highlight my under eyes with when I want to be a little more Kardashian than normal. Um, so if you're in Canada and you haven't tried to get your hands on this yet, get your hands on it, go to America, order it online. I don't know what to do, but like, it's magical. The most magical concealer I've ever used. I now own three because it's so amazing. So I'm just saying it's the best concealer I've ever used. That's all I'm saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul of things I shouldn't have bought in January. Uh, um, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.